Hi Taurus, this is your behind the scenes reading for February 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for February 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus. For February 2022, Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for February 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Taurus. Taurus, these are your cards, honey. So, Taurus, you have the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the earth element, the water element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Taurus, listen, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Taurus. Clarify the magician for Taurus. Clarify the magician for Taurus. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Taurus, listen, you may have commitment on the brain here. You know, maybe trying to manifest having a commitment or this stability. However, in tarot, tens are ending. So you may be trying to manifest an ending to a commitment, marriage, living together situation or family dynamics. Taurus, you have the seven of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest could be waiting on money. So Taurus, listen, you could be waiting on money. You could be looking at your bank account, looking at the coins. Maybe you want to buy property here. However, you could be waiting, contemplating and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the seven of pentacles. For Taurus. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. For Taurus. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Taurus, listen, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness in a second, state, second chance to restore you guys' commitment. Or we're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Taurus. Clarify judgment for Taurus. Clarify judgment for Taurus. It is clarified with the seven of pentacles again. So Taurus, listen. Ooh. Listen, Taurus, yes, you, be, you might be waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Waiting to ask for forgiveness and a second chance here. Okay. But Taurus, is there a judgment coming? You know, are you waiting on a judgment here? 
Is this some type of maybe legal separation or divorce happening here? Taurus. You have the two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Taurus, listen, you're dealing with your soulmate here. So are you waiting to ask for forgiveness in a second chance? Waiting to respond on whether or not you're going to give a forgiveness in a second chance here? Maybe you guys want to go into some type of commitment or restore you guys' commitment. Clarify the Two of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Two of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Two of Cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the Fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the Fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Taurus could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something here. I want to set out on a brand new journey. I want to take a leap of faith. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the Fool. For Taurus, clarify the fool. For Taurus, clarify the fool. For Taurus, it is clarified with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Taurus, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Taurus, it is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus. A high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. Brand new practical beginnings here. So Taurus, are we having this confrontation over commitment here? Or is it over the coins here? Did someone take a risk or a chance here dealing with these coins? Or did someone take a risk or a chance in you guys' already established relationship here? Is it that someone is wanting to take a leap of faith and have this commitment here, Taurus? But why is there a confrontation? I mean, we need to set the record straight or clear the air here. Taurus, you have death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So Taurus could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. You can tell me that we're starting new after ending or some type of transformation, meaning going from just dating to engage, from engaged to married. Some type of transformation here. Clarify death for Taurus. Clarify death for Taurus. Clarify death for Taurus. It is clarified with the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So Taurus, you could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the King of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the King of Wands 
for Taurus. It is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Taurus, it could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Taurus. Clarify the chariot for Taurus. Clarify the chariot for Taurus. It is clarified with the seven of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something. Someone being deceptive. Someone strategically devising a plan of action. Someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Taurus, listen, you know, things may have ended between you guys because of some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here. Mm-hmm. Could be dealing with a fire sign and you're wanting to move forward but you're contemplating here okay taurus huh you know are you thinking about moving taurus some type of moving or sneaking off or leaving here taurus taurus you have the emperor. This is you, Taurus, or Aries, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern, someone who wants complete control and authority. So, Taurus, this is you. Clarify the emperor for Taurus. Clarify the emperor for Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the emperor for Taurus. It is clarified with the queen of wands, king of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Taurus, listen, could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the King of Cups. For Taurus, it is clarified with the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. Taurus, you can tell me that you're keeping something close to your chest here. Maybe you're thinking about ending things and just moving on, moving forward, maybe even sneaking off. Taurus, you can tell me that you're holding on to your coins here. Because you may be looking at your coins and maybe we're having this confrontation over some coins and some type of deception here. So are you trying to manifest an ending to you guys' this commitment? Are you trying to manifest a new location here, Taurus? Taurus, this is your behind-the-scenes reading for February 2022. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week.
peace.